The bear population on the rise right here in Connecticut, and now more and more people are coming across them. And with that uptick in sightings and run-ins, it's important to know what you should do if you see one. News 8's Jason Newton has more on that tonight. This blue marking on the tree here, well, that marks the Connecticut Blue Trail. It's a public access point, and it's one of the main concerns for animal control out here in Wolkett as they deal with incidents of bears and humans interacting. I'm more concerned about people that are hiking out in the woods with their animals at this point in time. You know, that's where I need them to be aware. These three bears were recently spotted in Wolkett, not far from this wooded area around Blue Trail. Wilkett Animal Control says bear sightings have been unusually high this year. I would say probably anywhere between a three and a five mile radius. Um, we've had multiple bear sightings coming through. Just last month, this surveillance video captured Captain Jack, a black bear who's been seen roaming through the Wilkett Hills. The bear population is steadily increasing over the years, making more sightings inevitable, especially for those who venture into the woods. The nature of a wild animal is that you can't predict what their reaction will be, but there are some tips you can practice to keep chances low of a curious bear who might happen to wander your way. You need to take your bird feeders in. You need to secure your garbage. You need to just take the precautions, keeping your pets on leashes, watching your cats, watching your children. So if you find yourself out and about on a hiking trail, you want to make sure just in case you have an encounter with the bear that you come prepared. Make sure to bring something like an air horn that makes a lot of noise, maybe even a can of mace, and definitely make sure to keep your cell phone handy. Reporting in Wolkett, Jason Newton, News 8.